Garden Reach shipbuilders and engineers will launch the fourth anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft on 16th November. Without releasing specific details about the size and scope of the orders, Mazagin Dock shipbuilders has said that it is eyeing potential orders from the export market within the next two months. Indian Coast Guard has decommissioned ICGS Sungram advanced offshore patrol vessel after 26 years of service. India has increased the number of ITBP posts from 180 to 195 along the line of actual control. US Air Force's B-21 radar long-range nuclear-capable stealth bomber conducted its first flight yesterday. It will be fully operational by 2030, and will be available for exports to close allies. The second Tejas Mark I squadron named Flying Bullets will soon be shifted to a forward base in Gujarat for air defense operations against Pakistan. The first four squadrons of Tejas Mark 1A will also be based at four forward bases near Pakistan border. French firm Safran Helicopter Engines and Hindustan Aeronautics have formed a new joint venture named Safal Helicopter Engines Private Limited, that will design develop manufacture and support engines for Indian multi-role helicopter. The navies of India and Bangladesh conducted the fourth edition of bilateral joint exercise in the Bay of Bengal to enhance interoperability. According to a senior U.S. defense official, the U.S. and India have agreed to move forward with plans to jointly produce striker armored vehicles, and the deal was announced after the 2 plus 2 dialogue in New Delhi. India had recently submitted a letter of intent to the U.S. government, and the details should be worked out going forward. He also said that the striker has a lot of potential to give India more capabilities in areas that are particularly relevant along the line of actual control, as it can carry troops, and is also armed with medium and large caliber weapons. The Indian Navy is considering the induction of the Scalp Long Range Standoff Cruise Missile as a temporary solution, because India's indigenous long-range land attack cruise missile is still several years away from production. The submarine-launched Scalp missile has a range of 1,000 km, and the ship-launched variant has a range of 1,500 km, and both have already been deployed by the French Navy on its Scorpion-class submarines and naval warships. The purchase of the Scalp naval missile is only a stopgap measure, and the Navy fully supports the indigenous program. The 16 MQ-9B drones of the Indian Army and Indian Air Force will come equipped with electronic warfare and airborne early warning sensor payloads, that will be stationed in North India to monitor the line of control and line of actual control. General Atomics has said, that it is also keen to foster further collaboration on newer remotely piloted aircraft systems with India, that includes the Mojave Short Takeoff and Landing Drone, Gambit series of autonomous collaborative platforms, and the MQ-20 Avenger Stealth Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle Platform. Officials of Elbit Systems have said, that the ongoing conflict will not affect the supplies of four Hermes 900 UAV ordered by the Indian Army and Indian Air Force using emergency financial powers. These medium-altitude long-endurance drones will be manufactured in India by Adani Elbit Joint Venture Facility in Hyderabad, and the four drones were acquired for just below 600 crore rupees, and deliveries will take place by next year. Today's Top 3 Comments